got news for you. Look at what you're watching. It's EETV and surprise, it's live from here in East Elgin. That's right, go Eagles. Let's see what's up at our school. But only for a couple minutes and then you gotta get back to work. Good morning, Eagles. Today is Monday, April 17th. I'm Amy. And I'm Paige. And here are your announcements. Attention students in grade 9 to 11, there is a volunteer hour opportunity this upcoming Canada Day in Port Burwell. The Port Burwell Historical Society needs volunteers to help organize events on July 1st. Please see guidance if you're interested in contact information to be involved. So, up to seven hours or more could be earned. And now we're going out to Madame Burns, who has to stay on the trip. Good morning, East Elgin. This is uh, Madam Burns here. I have two announcements. The first announcement is for students participating in the Quebec trip coming up in just a couple short weeks. We have a meeting today uh, in my room at 2.13 at the beginning of lunch. We have to discuss our uh, parent meeting that's happening uh, Wednesday evening. So please make sure you attend. If you can't make it for any reason, please make sure that you see either myself or Monsieur Donc uh, before the end of the day Tuesday because we do have some papers to give you. Uh, and the second announcement that I have is for all students who have chosen a grade 11 or a grade 12 French or Spanish course for next year, so the 2023-2024 school year, uh, and who would be interested in the possibility of a trip to Spain and to France over the March break in 2024. If that would interest you at all, uh, please come to my room also at the beginning of, uh, of lunch today, so at 11.30, room 213. We will be discussing some details uh, and giving you a little bit more information and talking about uh, just how things might work. So if you're interested in, uh, in either in that trip uh, or if you're one of the Quebec trip people, please make sure that you come to my room, uh, room 213, at the beginning of lunch. Thank you very much. Now back inside. Attention ELP students for next year's class. Uh, there will be a mandatory, mandatory meeting in the ELP room at lunchtime. Also, please check your email and the Google Classroom ASAP. And now we go outside to Dwyer. Hello Eagles, Mr. Dwyer here. Uh, this week we have got lip sync. I'm gonna be there, I hope you are there as well. And because of lip sync, we are going to have a tech club meeting today at the beginning of lunch in room 139. That's the green room. Right at the beginning of lunch, it won't take more than about five minutes of your time. We'll go over some of the duties and responsibilities that will happen during lip sync. And that's all I have to say. So back to Amy and Paige. The ESL and leadership crews are teaming up to sell Snack City popcorn. This fundraiser will run until April 27th, and popcorn will be ready to, for pickup at East Elgin sometime in mid-May. Please scan the QR code on the posters that you will find all over social media and throughout our halls to place your order through School Cash Online. Some funds will be used for the ESL field trip to Stratford in May, and the rest of the money will go towards cancer research via the EESS Relay for Life life in June. If you are having trouble with the online ordering, please see Miss Chavez or Miss Gavey. Attention all Ultimate Frisbee players, get your paperwork in to Mr. Arnett as soon as possible. There are more copies on door 318. Get the Google Classroom code there as well to find out about practices. Attention all GABA members, please get your permissions form in for all track and field volunteer days to Mr. Arnett this week. If you are interested in applying for a co pres position for next year, grab an application form off of Mr. Arnett's desk. And now, out to Lena, who has your CAF special. Hello, Eagles. This is Lena, and today's CAF special is Pogies and Fries. Yum. Have a good day, and now back to the page and Amy. Thank you for that, Alina. That's all for your announcements, Eagles. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.